Hello and welcome to my channel. Here we are with a new OpenRC tractor video in which I'm, an, I'm going to show you my latest OpenRC tractor tool or add-on or mod, you can call it as you want. Uh, in this case, uh, that's, uh, you know, you can see it here. It's a rear track. This rear track is going to uh, be somewhat like this, okay? This is one and I'm going to assemble another one. In case you have uh, any doubts about assembly, it's not that difficult, but okay, with the video, it's everything gets easier. So this is what we're going to achieve or assemble. And this is going to, uh, these are going to be the rear tires and also rim. And here we have the original ones. This is the first one. Okay, the one on your left. Um, then I improved it a lot, I think, with this one. I like this one, like, I think it's much better. Uh, this is the first one, okay, it's well, my first version. And that's the one that comes with the original tractor. And this one, it's a bit narrower, and the design, I think, it's better. And this is the one that goes with the uh, open RC tractor Massey Ferguson 65 okay MF 65 um, mod okay but it's exactly the same uh, with the same it works with the same rim so you can use this in every you know every version of the tractor works with this tire and if you're printing it uh, for the first time I recommend you this one okay I think it works I think this is like I used here very low infill, I don't know, maybe 5%. And this filament worked really, yeah, it worked out really good, okay? So, these are the tires that we're going to switch or to change for this, okay? Let's get started. Here you have everything you need. Different, you know, M3 screws, nuts, all the plastic parts and some bearings. Uh, don't worry, you have the bill of materials, the spreadsheet that I normally share with you with all the materials and links to buy, you know, there are, are not, there are not a lot of things to buy, but you need bearings and some springs, okay? So let's get to it. We're going to start with this. This is the chassis, the main part. And we're going to assemble, for example, it, it's okay, you can change the order because it's there is nothing like really important to do first, but I'm going to start with this, for example. These are the supports for the for the um, springs, okay? So we're going to insert this and it's going to be with an angle, okay? So you insert the nut here and then I think you can see it here, okay? Okay, now that we have this, okay, assembled, this goes with an angle, we're going to let it rest. Well, remember, if, um, okay, I didn't say at the beginning, but this piece, this chassis part, has a built-in support here, but it's really, really, really easy to remove. So I think there is no marks on it. Uh, it's just a little built-in support that you're going to remove when you print it, okay? Here it's, it's already remo removed. Okay, so let's go with this. We're going to use this uh, M3 30 millimeters long, and this part, okay? Is going to be on the inside so let me show you we're going to do this and this okay and also this and then we're going to add this a minute and I'll show you and this okay so it's going to be like that let me show you here okay and this part goes on the inside, okay? 
you can use this mini wrench it's also in the spreadsheet it's very useful because with this stop nut you're going to need to hold it and then just a little bit for now and then we'll we'll tighten it we'll tighten it we'll tighten it later okay okay let's do the other one okay we have it here now this is going to go in this place okay like this and we're going to use this m3 80 millimeters to secure this part to the chassis Okay, so you don't have to tighten this too much because it has to rotate freely. So we're going to tighten it a bit, but not too much. And same here. Okay. They have to rotate freely and they have to walk like this. Okay, so I think more or less it's it has a little bit of tilt movement. Okay, now we have something. Then we can go, and go with this part. I already inserted these two M3 nuts here. You can use three. It's okay if you use only two, but okay, as for the design, I designed with three, but you can use two, okay? Now, this goes like this inside. And then we're going to use this M3 14 millimeters long, 14 millimeters long, sorry, to secure it in place. Okay, I'll show you a problem that I have just had, you know, but we're going to solve it quite easily. You may have this problem, I, I forgot this. But it's okay if you have this problem, don't worry. As you can see, the nut here is stopping this piece, okay? This tilt movement is not working. That's because I did it wrong, I assembled it wrong, and you have to put this part, okay? With the bolts in this part. So it's not going to be difficult to change, it's okay. I forgot, I totally forgot about that. And I'm going to just change this, okay? The other way around. Then it's going to work without any problem, okay? I won't cut this part of the video because, you know, some things happen sometimes and it's, you know, I forgot. So I'm going to Okay, well, remember not to tighten it too much. Now you see it works perfectly, okay? You can adjust a bit more tighten or not, but it's okay. Now it works. Remember, this part is important that goes here, okay? The head of the bolt, because if not, this nut is going to touch, you know, the chassis, okay? Okay. Now, Let's continue. For example, now we can assemble these big wheels. These all go with two different uh, bearings. So you're going to need eight for each uh, wheel, each track. So it's going to be 16 in total. These are quite cheap, so that's no problem. And we're going to use this M3 35 millimeters long, okay? Now, this goes like this. And another one here. There is one left. It's because it was out. Now I'm going to use this stop 
M3 nut. Again, don't tighten it too much because then it's not going to rotate freely. Just a little bit. Okay, maybe a bit too much, a little bit less. Now it's going to go perfect, okay? Perfect. Now, the other way, the other one, exactly the same. Now I have okay, this part now. We're going to use this bearing. I don't remember the dimensions, but they are on the spreadsheet and we're going to insert it here. And this is going to go to the tractor, okay? And this is going to go like this, okay? Okay, you can see here. Another bearing is going to go here and then we're going to use this disc to secure everything in place. Okay. Works, I think, really good. Okay. Now, we can, if you want, insert this kind of... It acts as just, just a kind of suspension, okay? Here and here. Okay, you can see it. Works really good. And now we're almost there. This is the, the main part. We're going to use this bearing then after when we uh, put it this on the tractor. But now I'm going to first assemble this. As you can see, I have it um, partially assembled because you know it took it takes a while. Um, I think if I remember correctly, that's uh, 43 different pieces, okay? And to put them together, you can use either then I, one M2, uh, M2, two millimeters diameter uh, screw like this one, but I just try with one here and one here, but I think it's better if you use just filament okay because if not you're going to use a lot of screws bolts so the you'll need 1.75 millimeters filament you're going to insert it here okay and then it's going to go it's going to go in I think Sorry. Sorry, the problem was that there was a filament inside. Okay, now. Okay, that's that's perfect, as you can see. Filament goes in, quite good. Now you can cut the part that you don't need. And that's it, it works. If you want, you can if you put a, a drop of glue here, or even if you melt a little bit these parts, uh, it's going to be, you know, better. But in my case, I used it like this and it's okay. It works and it doesn't come out. Okay, so let's do another one. Let's finish this. Now we're going to introduce this here. Okay, again, we're going to cut this part and this part. Okay, we have all of them. Now, we're going to need the tractor. Okay, here is the tractor. This uh, axle is going to be a new one, obviously, because the last, the, the, the old one 
uh, it's it's not exactly the same so you're going to need to print this and change these axles okay these are news longer basically we're going to need this okay but first we're going to use this last part okay so let's see we're going to insert first this part okay now we're going to insert this bearing okay as you can see first this part then the bearing we're going to use this m320 millimeters to secure it here So we're going to need this spacer, remember this part, the bearing, then the spacer, and then we're going to use the rim, okay? We, we also need this uh, nut, okay, here. And lastly, the screw that goes here. Okay, now we have everything except for this, okay? So, this is going to go... This is like last step. We're going to do this, 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 and this. And we're going to need another piece of filament. Remember, 175. This is going to be a bit trickier insert but as you can see it goes quite well now we cut the excess and that's it okay it works okay so that's it that's one track I'm going to Put in the other one and I'll show you a video of uh, the tractor with the tracks working. So hope that you like this new add-on for the Open RC tractor and thanks for watching. Bye bye.